man, I can't believe it. Cut like right in half, right down the middle. Hey there, everyone, this is Al Gao playing Banjo Kazooie. We are done yesterday with Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, today is going to be another one of the. Oh, those are alive now, by the way! They're giant! Yeah, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to win this race, but, uh. Yeah, he just kind of went right for me. Alright then, so yeah, hey there, I'm so playing Banjo Kazooie, like I just said. We're a little pumpkin, we got some things to do outside, like right here. Now we can sneak inside this little door where there's a very surreal sight of just like one of these outside of the Mumbo Skull. It's very strange, that ghost is looking at me and I don't like it. Alright, well... He doesn't always live on the skull, I guess. Sometimes he hangs out uh, in this little side shack near, near, near Gruntilda's place. Hey, ghost! That's right, did I scare you? Did I scare you now? Alright, so what do we do here? Well, there's a sarcophagus. It's gone now. We don't worry about it. And then there's a big old switch. I don't know what that means. Three, two, one. All right, the level outside somewhere was under level one. It may now rise. Uh, can you destroy these other, like, side sarcophagus? I guess not. This is the place you hang out where you can just find bodies laying around. But, you know, they're at rest. Don't bother them. So this, by the way, this is not optional when I just did. Like, raising that water there. That is super important, but yeah, alright, you're gonna get the pot ready, and I'm gonna get out of here. Truly, balance has been reached. We're not done with Lil Pumpkin, though. Lil Squishy Sound down the corridor, big old pathway. Yeah, Lil Pumpkin, you can't do anything. Can't attack, can't, can, you can jump, you can squoosh. Uh, so if there's, yeah, so you can tell that gravestone looked a little bit different. Like, you can tell that gravestone over there is gonna come alive, for the same reason, like, it's textured differently. He 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 he, Gruntilda's having fun, though. She's never not having fun, let's be real. Alright, here we go! Uh, so, we are now in the evil cave zone here. I don't know if you remember that over here, there's a big, long, winding path. And I'm... First death! Pumpkin soup! It happened! Uh, I just fell off. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, I still got plenty to go. Oh, now it's just laughing again. All right, well, we're back here, exactly where we were, so we didn't lose anything. Oh, wow. So that's how. Yeah, so I made a crucial mistake misidentifying that here, which, of course, that's how I would die. All right, so let's be careful. Da, 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 da. Yeah, here we go. It's a pretty long, windy path. It's pretty awkward. I mean, the pumpkin controls pretty precisely by virtue of not being like super uh, fast. That is an advantage in this case. All right, Brentilda, will you speak to a pumpkin? Of course you will. Uh-huh, smelly socks. Well, you know what? I don't really have a defense for that one. That is kind of... Kind of a bit weird. A veruca plant? I don't know what that is. Is that one of those, like, really stinky? I'm assuming it's one of those really stinky flowers. I don't, I don't recognize the name, just like that. Uh, uh, well, you're just judging, judging her choice of under, like, why do you even know that? Brentilda, the witch, that dresses as a, hey, check it out, it's Cheeto, he's back. Cheeto Bear and Bear I found once more! Another spell they get. Fantastic. I love me some magic spell. We shall Cheeto Row, that's please do not burn books if you can help it. Uh-huh. Enter red feathers. Hmm, I see. I wonder what that could do. And yet, in your room, we find gold feathers. What do you suppose that means? Cheeto the spell book. 
All right, well, we're not done. So I'm gonna go out here, and now we gotta do the path backwards. I mean, if you die, you return to, like, where you spawn, so I guess it's not as bad, but, like, I don't want to die on purpose. So let... Whoops! That was on purpose. It was not on purpose. Look at that, your death interrupted Grunty's little taunt there. Man, two lives lost at basically the same area. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about the lighting that, to me, makes it a bit difficult to parse the size of these, these, the, this walkway. But I think that's on purpose. Like, they made a level like that. Alright, so we still got things to do. Uh, there's the Jiggy that appeared inside Grunty's eyeball statue. That's gonna be right out of here, if we remember correctly. I we're here. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Yes, I recognize your laugh. Can you jump there? Like I know there's the there's a flight pad, but like the flight pad you need to unlock it and it's kind of annoying. So I'd rather not have to flight path. I would rather not flight a path. So can you do something by going here, I wonder? I mean, it's kind of far. I was hoping maybe you can just do like a mighty leap of some kind, but I don't... So I can do a mighty leap on this mighty hat brim, but no, I think I'm gonna have to get flight going. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah, last minute crashing sound effect. Cause yeah, there used to be like nothing here. Uh, uh, oh, can we need to do, do that? Oh, there you go. You have to like break the glass. I forgot about that. All right, that was cool. Here we go. Glass Eye Johnny. That's not her name at all, nor really a real nickname. It's just an exclamation I had to share. <laughs> we did it. All right, but we're still not. Yeah, I got a Cheeto, but uh, as you can tell by the fact I'm not running at the chance to input it on the sandcastle wall. There's other things we need to do. Well, like right now we don't have any like levels unlocked, right? I don't think. So over there leads to a certain place that we might remember. And yeah, that's where I'm gonna have to go because we're not done here. All right. Big old spooky mouth zone. You go in there and you're inside a spooky face, changing your life forever. So this got a little bit higher. That lets us reach this like area place. You know, like this dock side, but like it's underground, so I feel like that wouldn't be very useful for a dock, but I'm not here to judge. Alright, so what are we doing here? Is there any reason? Like I recognize the whole type. Yeah, that's what I thought. Big worm, big ball. What? A farce. Alright, you can go on top of this box, and that enables us to awaken a pot. Yeah, look at that. Right here, there's that green guy there. We've been there before, well now we can do things. Wow, unbelievable usage of the language. Here we go, big R switch. Rareware! Hey, it's another water level. Alright, wet dry world, more water. Whoop, putting us like way up there actually. Then the camera makes sure that we can see that cave over there. Very, 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 very strange. Oh, look at that. It's like barely, yeah, high enough to... Well, it is at the right height to let you access that pot mark. That's good to know. Alright, now we do a mighty leap somewhere. Alright, and now we're here. I don't know where we are. I don't know why we're here. Well, this looks like something that wants to be broken. So I did! What's over here? More boxes? Cargo? Wet floors? Oh, a certain altar for a certain level called the Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah, we were like right there. Well, this, yeah, like, like I feel like at the start of the game, like you can kind of get all the levels early and whatnot. This one, there's some work to just open it, but then you're here and then there's bugs everywhere around that hive at the very least, death scouts everywhere. And what's here, I'm not sure. 
but that's where I am right now. Here's a grill stopping me from forward progress. Oh, it's that place. It's, uh, yeah, where we unlocked uh, Mad Monster Manor. Well, now we got that little soluble water spout. That, what? No, that doesn't mean anything. That is absolute nonsense. But you can run down a hallway! But, see, also, remember, we rose that water, right? Remember that in the cave that leads to this area, at some point, I looked up, and there were, like, ledges and stuff, like, way up there. Um, I mean, I don't know how water works. I'm not a hydro scientist. But if the water rose here, I wonder if it rose here. Maybe, because I just used here twice. <laughs> In terms of language, those are probably the same thing. Look at that, we got two-way split, three-way split. Over here, there's a gold feather. Fantastic. And over here there is... Uh, nothing. Alright, that's my favorite. But what about over here, where we made the path go? And you can slide on the side of the middle pipe. I don't know, it's pretty strange. Can get a water higher even more? Oh wait, you need to do that? 30? I kind of forgot that. No, so there you can probably just go, right? Well, I just got those, that door opened up. I don't know the meter's still going. No, I'm pretty sure that that's necessary to do something somewhere else. I'm going to try and return into the boat land with this active. See if there's anything else to discover there. But I might be wrong. I might be misremembering. Because, like, let's say we stay at a water level we're at, a level 2. Yeah, like, you don't need to rise a level to get there. You can do a mighty leap here, and you get can get there fine. I just land, jump right into that guy, didn't I? I, I did that. I super did. Alright then. <laughs> Me and Death. We're pals in the mall. Always and forever. Alright, let's see. Where else a big high water can help a guy out? Because, yeah, we can totally still go there. And it will totally be in a new exciting world of crying. That's how we call it now. Yeah, so now the water here should be like super high up. Is there anything to gain from that? Like, there has to be. But, yeah, so that, we're our way higher up, but... I forget where or what. Um, maybe I should look around. Let's go here, and look around. Go into look around mode. There's a, no, there's that cave there, up there, so... Oh, yeah, it's kind of behind you. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so this time, kind of turn around like that, and somewhere. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, exactly the right level. Here we go. Stairways. Oh my gosh, I saw those eyeballs. It's Cheeto the book. Uh, bear and bird getting good. Uh, I mean, that one. Well, I don't know, like, it's the easiest, like, his, his things are always easy to see. It's like rare moments of where it's almost hard to get to. Uh, you keep, you keep, you keep threatening fire. Well, I mean, she's clearly aware where we are. Alright, well, we got red feathers, and also we got gold feathers. Hmm, wonder what that could do. Okay, you put feather inside a feather, and then the feather goes like, whoa, whoa, butter. So, I don't really have anything else planned, but for funsies, like, I got plenty of time still, especially if you count some light editing I have to do. Let's just go inside that note door and see if there's anything cool we can do there a little bit early, maybe. I don't know. Like, I genuinely am not sure what we will encounter there. So, let's find out right now. Like, this is the time for it. Alright, mind leap. Big jump. See, you don't need to go. Yeah, see, these, these are clearly made for you to be able to do 
a whole lot of flips. Always and constantly. All right, here's the room with the branches. You always got to have one of those. Pretty sure you're supposed to do this. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why there would be a root check. Like, I'm... Well, I guess maybe it's possible that I made it all the way here without it. I'd find that strange. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Where did we hear this remix of the song before? A valid... Why are you not dead yet? Hey, there's from Tell, uh... Look at that, she's got a big wand. I can't see you, though. Mm-hmm. Favorite pastime? Flying radio control ba Okay, that just seems legitimately fun. Well, you got a problem with that. Undead Ed was her first aw. Well, the implication there is that it didn't go very well, unfortunately. As younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. Hey, yeah. Those probably don't make great pets, honestly. Well, look at that. We got branches and we got a giant angry. Yeah, you can't get up there. What? That's ridiculous. Hey, Mr. Bull. Yeah, you go. Rah, rah. Well, I go park park. So you know, it kind of all adds up together. Well, clearly there's going to be a world here at some point, at the very least. All right. Um, is there not something we can do here early? I no, yeah, 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 see those leaves. They're low enough that you can jump on them, no problem. Yeah, mighty leap. Mighty leap, do a mighty flip. Uh, I believe the game continues in that direction and I do not have enough notes. I know, right? Very unhospitable. There's a pad there, it's pretty freaky, it's pretty scary. Oh, there's the beehive on the leaf. That's where you put them. Hey, what's this about? Uh, that's right. Finally. Hey, I forgot a skull there. That's right. So at, well, all that time, the it's subtle. I feel like as a kid, I didn't notice, but it was lacking the actual jiggy pedestal. But now we can feed a puzzle piece and see what happens. Also, there's this path. All right, it's the path you go if you want to dig a skull. Son of Banjo, imagine you. Oh, oh, you want Kazooie? Huh, I mean, sure. All right, okay. Let's go do the sandcastle and stuff. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Well, looks like, to me, uh, it is time to demonstrate what it's like to teleport through a tub! Here you go! You go at it, it gets squishy, it flies a little bit, and then you're there, and then you're gone, and then you're somewhere else, and then you just pop out, and there you go! Quick and easy, just like that! Hey, guy! I mean, since it's on our way, like, we might as well jiggy up. Last level. Spoiler, it's the last level. I just said that without really thinking about it. I don't know if you would know. Whoa. How did I mess up the camera today? Valid question. Here we go. Yeah, click clock wood. Big massive tree, forest level. Open that gate. Here we go. It's a wood with clicking clocks in it. Unbelievable. And I still have nine jiggies left. That's weird. Don't worry about that. Alright, time to spell things out with Banjo! Get out of here. I said... Get out of here. Alright, so... Red feathers. How's that going? We got an R. We got an E. Somewhere there's a D. I saw the F here, and you can just reuse that E, okay. And then we got an A, and here's a T, and there's an H, 
and then we can go back, add E, look at that, E, R, S, it's all like nicely diagonally aligned here, like it was waiting for us, and there we go, woo-hoo-hoo, 100 feather woos, we can fly all the way to the zoo, fly to me, oh, alright, sounds great, can I just put the next one right here, we sure can, alright, G, O, L, over here, but is there a D? Oops, the code is impossible. They forgot to put one. Uh, all right, now we re-put the same first part, last part. T somewhere, there we go. Uh, oh, I think I messed up, so I have to start over, huh? Um... Okay, well, I did something that made the game unhappy, so I guess I'll restart things up like that, awkwardly. Okay. G. O. L. There's D. There's the F over here. No, it's F-E-A. I forgot the A. I think that's the only thing I did wrong. Yeah, I... Look. These puzzles are very difficult if you don't know how to spell words. I mean, honestly, that is accurate though. Like, if... English isn't your first language and you're a child playing this, you are at a disadvantage, my friend. And there you go. 20 old gold feathers. You're like, what? I mean, it's just 20. It's actually kind of what you need. Still get plenty. Rude. I guess I'm done for today, huh? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> actually, there's one more thing I want to demo, but first I want to get in position. Oh man, here we go. Testing out. No, we did that already. Did I? Doesn't matter. Look at that. Alright, so before I do anything, first I'm gonna put down a, a, a fake save here. Alright, so fake save is in place. The reason for that is that in real life, you know, when you would play this a little bit each day, you would end each day by saving and quitting. And not unlike Donkey Kong 64, there's a little scene that plays out. Let's check it out. Like, you know, we just haven't. I've been kind of waiting for one of these, like, non-level days, so... Every time you stop, this happens. Uh, need full power, everyone's just chilling inside these capsules. This guy is, loves his job, you can just, you can just tell. He just emanates it. He's like, yeah, he's hyped up! Technology! You know, Tootie's having a really bad time. Look at that, Papo! Look at that massive thump. Uh, that's right, Gruntilda turned into a Spice Girl. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> but she still has her wonderful laugh, though. Like that's always that's pretty okay. That's just weird. Mumbo, you kind of I don't like you, but you gained super strength. Like, just, just like, just, you can like, choke out Grunty or something. You got massive hands and super long arms. Wait, you're basically Lanky Kong, but green. And with like a bear face. When you think about it. That's cute. That's adorable. Why is it so cute? You're always cute, Tootie! 